So sometimes I scratch my hair. I know you're not supposed to scratch your scalp and stuff like that. So satisfying when you dig something out your hair. If you haven't watched the last video, watch my video adding extension hair. This is the extension hair literally that I applied to my hair and this is what it looks like. On the last video, somebody had asked me uh, the second bleach for the extensions, what that looked like. And so this is it. To mine is very different, but this is the result of that. So here it is, my guy. Before we get into the video, we got a new intro! Welcome back to another video up at the Vars Universe today. Damn, man. I'm excited for this video. It's a new day. Hey, we got a what? We got a Today, of course, I'm doing a hair wash with just a shampoo. It's not an ACV rinse. It's not a hard way. It is something that anybody can do at their house to benefit their locks, even their hairs. So first of all, I wanna start with my recommendation of shampoo. This is by far the best shampoo that ever worked for me. And the shampoo's called Head & Shoulder ACV Shampoo. As you can see right here, it is a apple cider vinegar shampoo, so uh, it comes with the ingredients that you usually apply when you do ACV rinse. Plus, it has the conditioner side to it that can benefit your locks, like as if it's moisturizing your locks as, as you're washing it. So this is like my best recommendation. Now, I would lie to you if I didn't tell you that I didn't try every best solution for you know shampoos, but by far, I've, I've tried the top ones and the ones that people recommend and it hasn't worked for me and I don't want to name the brands I'm gonna just tell you what works for me so that you can maybe you know get a benefit out of it by nature I struggle with dandruff and I know a lot of people do struggle with dandruff and they may not be comfortable to say it out there but a lot of people with draw locks do struggle with dandruff and even having draw locks actually comes with that consequence you know that's one of the cons even within the dreads within these dreads that look neat from the outside on the inside you are carrying some kind of dandruff some kind of material something in there in the drill lock you wouldn't notice it till you comb it out trust me i've seen people that comb it out the drill lock look neat but inside there it does not so you know we all on the same ground we all learning from one another i know that recently tp locks has done a really smooth drill lock wash with a shampoo uh, same with gunther the great he has done an acb rinse so these are people that are you know benefiting the community by showing you guys how to do these things so that we can all learn and grow together because we all in this journey together and that's why even I created Pineapple World uh, where your journey matters channel that everybody that's coming on that channel know that everybody's there to build inspire and then a build community uh, with one another and we have also a Facebook group to where you can share your journey have, ask any questions that you have called pineapple fam and that's where you can benefit also besides my channel personal channel activeverse all right I'm gonna show you oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you what my hair look like right now my dandruff it's pretty intense and I wanted to do a video of the before and after so I just let it go I've done a wash and an ACV rinse a month ago and also another wash for the back of my undergrowth but I actually left this alone for this video so I'm gonna show you what my hair is at right now with the dandruff and the before of it so that you can see the result once I apply the shampoo method kind of weird being naked and talking oh you guys 
didn't know I was naked. Okay, that's good. This right here is my undergrowth or undercut growth, I guess. Growth journey. Which we about to hit three months soon, so it's been pretty long. So sometimes I scratch my hair. I know you're not supposed to scratch your scalp and stuff like that. I understand that, but it's just so satisfying when you dig something out your hair. It's just a which I'm call it guilty pleasure. Do you guys struggle with dandruff? If not, like, what is it that you struggle with with your dreadlocks? You see that? I kind of hate it sometimes. Most of the time I do hate it. Sometimes I'm like, you know, it's just natural. Gotta wash my hair, you know. That kind of feeling. You get me? And sometimes you just gotta dig it out too, like kind of like expose it so that the shampoo can work. So I'm gonna expose all the front ones so that you can see the before. It's crazy how you can't see it like this, and then you start opening it up, and like there's a bunch of them. And that's how it happens because basically, as the hair grows, it grows out with it, and uh, you're not able, you know, to wash as much down inside here as you can in your sections. But sometimes that's why, a lot of times actually, that's why it's good to get a retwist so that you can actually see your scalp and so you can like, you know, expose it to oil and wash and moisturization. But whenever you have thick, thick locks like mine, especially it's hard to penetrate these thick locks, man. There's, there's a bunch of hair in there and it's kind of like locked already or matured unless it's like the roots. So as you guys can see, all these are exposed, you know, the dandruff is there and I'll show you the aftermath with the shampoo of, you know, the effect that it has on your hair. And uh, yeah, this is nasty. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's on Skype mode. Oh my God. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scratch right here too to show you the aftermath for this part also. Basically, consider this being your scalp. I don't recommend you guys scratching your scalp, especially if you have a. I have a very tender skin, so I can tell whenever I'm scratching it too too high. There's some people that can just go in ham and literally feel nothing. So I don't recommend you guys doing this at all. Just to test it out, you know, go ahead and do this. Of course, when you wash your hair, you don't want to use your fingernails to scratch your scalp because you're going to hurt your hair, like I said, especially if you're not as sensitive as mine. My head is very sensitive. And so I got to be careful. Even as I'm doing this, I can really feel it like, ah, uh, it's like painful, but satisfying at the same time. It's almost like a sponge, like a soft, mushy, like dirt, like that's what it feels like once it gets inside my nails. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna scratch up here. I'm careful not to scratch my baby hair because those are very important to me. I can scratch somewhere up here. It gets stuck in my fingers. So as you guys can see right there, all the dandruff, and then I'll make sure you guys can see in the front also. not my baby hair, this is my actual hair right here. So yeah, you guys can see it, right? All that dandruff. This is one lady I've seen that combed out her whole dandruff out with like comb. Harsh thing I've seen that somebody do to their hair. 
but you know everybody do something to their hair that's like bad that we don't talk about and I feel like mine is like scratching it and it's bad like I'm not telling you to do it guys because I gotta be careful being on social media you know exposing what I do sometimes because people think that's okay but it's not and it's something that I'm will work to not do you know uh, to hold myself accountable hold you guys accountable uh, so that we can all have the best locks and that the bad habits you know we are coming against them because we are not with the bad habits we are trying to avoid the bad habits so yeah so I'm gonna wash my hair now I have an undergrowth that I want to wash also. I washed, I washed it two weeks ago or a week ago and uh, I'm going to wash it again. Compared to the amount of shampoo I put on this undergrowth versus uh, the dry lock is just so different because like I said, like the dry lock consumes the shampoo and so you want to wash it, you want to rinse it really, really well. I've been twisting these, I don't know if you guys can tell the current pattern has been looking great because I've been twisting them. And so when you wash it, usually after a retwist, it gets even more curlier. And I'm gonna go to rinsing this whole thing out. If you guys wanna do a second round, you guys can. I usually do one round only and um, thoroughly washing it, you know what I mean? So. gradually change the temperature from hot to colder so that my pores can start uh, closing in uh, when you wash it you want to start with the hot water so that it can open up your pores but then afterwards you want to use actually a cold or coldish to root temperature to kind of close your pores uh, you know from it being open you know and dry afterwards you want to close it you know it got the nutrients that it needs already and uh, of course the last thing that you have to worry about is oil and stuff like that but oil should be able to sink in uh, with your head temperature already so right here you want to start washing it with the hot warm water and then changing it to colder or room temperature I know people don't like cold water or cold shower but you will enjoy cold shower actually if you try it growing up in Ethiopia we didn't have the luxury of getting hot shower so we always had to take shower in a cold shower thus we took it once a week <laughs> so think about it. kids running around dirty old bucky old it was fun you know what I mean like taking a shower once a week that was like a thing I move out here everybody takes shower every single day because of the fat that they eat the stuff that they eat just makes them smell already uh, I mean out there you kind of feel the same way but at the same time it's not the it's like it's based on the culture so the culture really don't ask you to do that so I sometimes also squeeze like the tips of my locks just cause that's where most of the build up will be at and like being exposed so while I'm rinsing it I'm kinda twisting it and like squeezing it I don't know if you guys ever got that, don't get those, but it's basically what I showed you earlier as you wash your drill out. Alright, this is the end result of my hair. 
as you guys saw earlier how much clumps of dandruff there was now it's you know almost you know you, almost like you can't even see it it's impossible to fully get rid of dry locks in general because it's just a natural effect on your hair it's almost like you know it's going to consistently happen but you're going to minimize it with this method especially with this shampoo that really worked out for me and i'm not even getting plugged in by them or anything like that it's just a free uh recommendation for me um to you guys as a dry lock head top head guy and uh you know been growing my drugs for a little while now with other you know shampoos and stuff like that like i say like you can't fully get rid of the fullness of the drug like the dandruff but i mean two three wash of these you'd be good i like to just do them once but if you have the time the patience go for two uh then you'll be able to get rid of like a lot more than what i did remember how clumps it was right here look at this this is the aftermath of the shampoo wash and it's not that bad you know it's not the best but it's not that bad like you still see some of them right here but compared to earlier man like even if i scratch really nothing will come out as a result um you'd be set for a few days before you actually need another wash and if you have oil this is the best time to apply it right after the shower uh, i do have an oil that i want to apply what i use as an oil is a little different than what other people use or a lot of people use the one I use is called Aragon Oil, uh, Renewing Plus Aragon Oil of Mor Morocco. And uh, the smell is really what captured me with this oil. Like I said, I don't use a lot of oils or different oils. I just use what I have, but this smell is really, really phenomenal. It just makes my you know locks stand out. When I'm around with people, they're like, what's that smell? What's that smell? Is that your dreadlocks? And you know, the answer is, yeah, it is. But there is another one that really captivated me in my in my oil journey, I guess, or in a way. The oil is called J Locks Oil, I believe. And uh, here is the their website right here if you want to check them out. It's my boy Jordan. Probably seen him. Uh, he does dreadlocks also. He uh, has a brand that he launched Essential Oil. I couldn't find it right now. I was trying to bring that out. But this is my second go-to if I can't find that one. I don't know where my wife put it. Maybe she used it or something. I'm going to apply this to my hair. Just have it in here so it can dry out. But you don't want to have it like this all day long because it will end up smelling smelling like you know wet rag you don't want to smelling like that oh shoot just slowly apply this to my locks just literally put it on my fingertips and then kind of like going through my hair and rubbing my hair And it smells good and you just want to <laughs> dab some of your hair up Woo! like this smells so good it's not too much too it's not harsh at all it's just soft and nice and just like i can breathe this in like i can even put this on my goddamn skin bro that's how that's how much it smells good like, I don't but if you guys enjoyed my video subscribe to my channel like my video especially this video and comment below what kind of shampoo that you use and oil that you use so everybody can kind of like learn and comment why you use that shampoo also but till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe i'm activeverse and i'm out